Hi Fox, today I am going to show you how you can use L298N motor driver module. With this driver module, you can run either two DC motors or a single stepper motor. Well, in this video you will learn how to control two DC motors. Okay, let me explain the connections of this module. In this module, you can see two connectors on either sides to connect two DC motors. You can connect one motor on left connector and other motor on right connector. Here is the power supply ports for the module. This module supports 6W to 35W but if you are using more than 12W then don't forget to remove the jumper because power passes through the jumper to the 5V regulator which works on 6 to 12V. That is why it is compulsory to remove the jumper if voltage is more than 12 and yes, this is the 5V output. You can use this output to power your Arduino board or any other microcontroller. Ok, here are some pins which is used to control speed and direction of the motors. These two jumpers are used to enable motors. If you are using stepper motor or don't want to control speed of DC motor then keep these jumpers. If you want to control the speed of DC motors then remove it and connect with PWM output of microcontroller. In between of these two jumpers, here are four pins to control direction of DC motors. For example, when pin 1 is high, motor A will rotate clockwise and when pin 2 is high, motor will rotate counterclockwise. Similarly, pin 3 and pin 4 work for motor B. Now, I am going to connect motors and power supply to demonstrating how these four pins control direction. And after this, I will connect this module with Arduino to control the speed and direction with microcontroller. Well, I am going to connect the motors and power supply. Connect motor A with left connector and motor B with the right connector. Motors are connected. Now connect power supply. I am using 7.4V LiPo battery to power this module and run the motors. Connect the positive wire with positive connector and negative to the ground. Ok, before connecting with module to the Arduino, let's test it manually. Connect the jumper wire with 5 volt output. Ok, now I am going to high input 1 by giving 5 volt on the spin. See, motor is started to run. When input 2 is high, motor is running in different direction. You can see the same thing happening to motor B when input 3 and input 4 is high. Ok, let's connect drive module with the Arduino. We will also control the speed of motors with the Arduino. So remove the jumpers to connect enable pin with PWM output of the Arduino. Now connect input 1 and input 2 pins to digital pin 6 and 7 of the Arduino and input 3 and 4 to pin 8 and 9. Now connect the enable A to pin 5 and enable B to pin 10. All connections are done. Now upload the code into the Arduino. You can get the code from circuitmagic.com. I will leave a link in the description. Open your Arduino IDE and paste the code. Don't forget to select the right board and port from the tools menu. Arduino is taking power from the USB cable which is connected with the computer and module is connected with the battery. Whenever you use two power supply, you have to make sure ground should be common for both. So, let me connect Arduino ground pin with module ground connector. Now, see motors are running counterclockwise, clockwise and slowly speed up and down. Oh, 
hope you like this video i request you to subscribe our channel and press the notification bell and don't forget to like and comment thanks see you soon